Hello friends, so it's been a little bit. Uh, I've been getting some comments on one of my videos from a few months back where I had the title as I'm not an INFJ? <gasps> question mark, exclamation point, question mark, or something like that. Um, the comments were saying things like, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you are. I think in that video and a few others, I more than hinted at, oh, I, I am an INFJ. I might have actually said it just like I did just now. Um, but I wanted to clear that up for those who keep asking. Uh, I am an INFJ according to the objective type, the objective personality type uh, model. So those folks, those lovely folks, Dave and Shan, have typed me as this. So the whole, uh, you can read that, um, introvert intuition, extroverted feeling, followed by TI, uh, introverted thinking. So uh, would be feminine on the, basically the, uh, the extroverted stuff and masculine on the introverted world. Uh, yep, works for me. So that'd be blessed, play, consume sleep. I should have wrote that down. I guess I could put that in the words that I put on the video. Uh, yeah, so that's what I am. So N-I-F-E blast, blast, ah, N-I-F-E blast, play, consume, sleep. Um, my dog doesn't like that. So I guess my experience with being that is what it is. <laughs> I can, I can try to articulate that a bit, but I, I, I think one way to find out about that is to watch my other videos, so you, know, you can always do that. But um, I guess my experience with NIFE being my, my stack there is, is that I've realized that I'm the kind of person who's very good at uh, dealing with, working with, understanding, and handling other people's value systems, emotions, uh, what drives them, what motivates them. I've found a way to make that my career path basically too. And that's fun, that's exciting, I enjoy that. Um, but then there's the whole like reality side of things of like details and accountability and discipline and all that stuff. That's the stuff that I've been working on and uh, trying to make a part of my life for the last however many years at this point and where a lot of my focus goes. So. I am the kind of person now who, having, having uh, been kind of taken part in the objective personality classes for a while, I look at my savior functions as yucky. <laughs> or not necessarily, there's not a disdain for them, but it's more I, I have to trust that they're there no matter what the heck I do. That bias, that slant is always there. So the patterning ability of like finding this unifying theory of things and in particular people as systems, people systems and their things. Um, that's just kind of what I do no matter what I try. So if I can trust that, then I can kind of cheat my own system and try to go quicker to the uh, sensory and thinking. Um, and I think I've been developing that stuff pretty well for a few years at least. Uh, I don't know, I hope so. <laughs> but you know, that's where I'm at. Um, that's kind of my experience is like I got to trust the, the saviors and I've been attacking the, the demon functions uh, for a little bit and if you haven't been following my videos basically this video series where I'm talking about personality type objective personality uh, methodology I guess is really me just uh, diving in and trying to understand uh, my own um, processing of this stuff so I actually watch back watch my videos back and I will begrudgingly put them online with, with not too much editing and uh, I do that as a means of trying to put myself out there in a way that I normally wouldn't. Um, then again, I probably wouldn't put myself out there if I tried to perfect it and do all the editing I want to do with a nice slick intro and, and good music and fancy video effects and all that stuff. I want to, but I just can't prioritize that. I have other actual things in life to do. Um, so instead, you guys get me yapping away on camera. And I justify, I rationalize that that maybe that external processing and kind of, I guess, blasting 
here is a way for me to um, let others in on that and take what take from it what they will. All right, well, that's that. So if you guys have questions on uh, my experience as this type, it would be an INFJ type, uh, an IFE blast play, consume sleep. Um, let me know. I am curious, though, if anybody is sleep last, blast versus sleep last, uh, and especially on the NI side of things, how do, you, how do you deal with that sleep stuff? Do you force it into your schedule? Um, do you actually literally force yourself to take naps or, or downtime or take a minute to breathe and whatever to process things? Or do you just keep kind of jumping into stuff all the time? I know what I do by default if I don't pay attention, uh, and that is the blast stuff. I would just jump in and start doing things and be excited and try to make something real happen. But then I just let go when I get bored. Oh. Default functions, at least. Now I try to pick wisely. I try to think a little bit more. I try to actually process stuff. Um, so I'm curious to hear what you guys think and how that works for you. Leave a comment if you have any thoughts on that. I'd love to see or hear it. Um, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks, guys. Oh, it's a happy accident. <laughs> Good lighting, I guess. Okay. Alrighty. So. Hello, friend.